You first kind of walk out here, this is where we started. This was our original shop. This area used to be mill, lathe, everything. Now it's just a lathe department. We really make our living in that one to 50 part range. And that's really where Herco was so good of a fit for us. It kind of started out, we did all of our programming on the controls. And so we were able to go from print to chips in a very short period of time. We've done a lot of complicated parts, 3D parts even, on the control as well. We do do offline programming when we need to, but it was just so efficient to use that control to get parts in the machine and out of the machine so quickly. We're always kind of pushing the envelope of our machines and what we're trying to do with them. When we decided to get our 5-axis, we were looking for something that we could handle anything that comes through the door. With the 5-axis machine, we thought it was all about the complicated parts where we needed 5-axis to actually manufacture the part. And what we found through our investigations is that we already do a lot of parts where we can utilize 5-axis. Most of the parts that run through here right now are that I wouldn't consider to be a true 5-axis part. You know, just something like this. Um, something as simple as this part. It's not a very difficult part, but it's got holes all the way around it and operations all the way around it. I mean, we just eliminated five operations with one run in this machine. All we gotta do is tip it over and do the back side, you know? So instead of tying up two or three of these machines for three or four days, it's one machine for probably three, four hours, they're done, good to go. We're rolling up on a year of having a five axis. Uh, everything's running really, really good. Let's try to make, you know, as many parts as efficiently as we can. And with the help of the Pro Cobot, it's really changed uh, how we can attack some of our parts. Usually, I bet you we go through two setups a day, runs overnight, we come in the morning, it's waiting for a part, runs out there today, it's waiting for a part, runs overnight again. Almost every single day it goes like that. I mean, you go from getting eight or nine hours of run time on the machine to getting probably 20 to 24 hours a day. Well, we adjust our per hour rate based on the fact that there's not a guy here. We're still getting all that machine time and it lowers our overall cost significantly. We work in a really nice shop. It's bright, it's clean. We get to play with fun toys, five axes, robots. It's just it's a really enjoyable job if you like you know, using your brain and getting to work hands on. It's changed a lot from uh, machine shops being kind of a dirty floor, grungy, dark place to you know walking in here and seeing nice, new, clean machines, clean floors, and parts running full auto. 